I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. All right, you guys, what's up? Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. This is the day after Thanksgiving. We're finally decorating for Christmas. I'm so excited. I have been rounding up all of my Christmas decor for the past, like I feel like three weeks, and I finally have everything. We're gonna decorate my tree. As you can see, I have a flocked tree. I'm so excited that we went the flocked route this year. So we're gonna be decorating this. We're gonna be decorating this little shelf situation and then also my console table and mirror. So this is gonna be part one of the decorate with me. Tomorrow there's gonna be a part two where I share a little DIY situation that you guys can do. It's really cute and I think you guys are really gonna like it, but to kick things off, I wanted to kind of go through an overview of my decor for this year and show you everything that I'm working with. So as you can see, I have a flocked tree and I wanted to go just like a very neutral, gold, silver, warm, natural vibe. Like that is the vibe of my decor. And a lot of the stuff I already had like ornaments and stuff like that, but there were some things that I wanted to pick up because past years I have made the bad decision in getting colors. I feel like you kind of get over them quickly. So this year I really wanted to build up my neutral decor and get like staple Christmas pieces that I know I'm really gonna love years to come. Everything that I show you guys in this video, if I can find it online, if it's still in stock, I will link it down below in the description box. So make sure you click the description box and everything that I show today will be listed there, my outfit, decor, literally everything that you see will be in the description box. Let's kind of go through everything that I have so far. So first is the tree. So we went with a seven and a half foot flocked tree. We picked this up from Amazon and it's actually pretty good quality. It also comes pre-lit, which is pretty nice. It has like a little bit of snow on it, which makes it look really real. I just really wanted to go the flocked route this year just because I feel like, one, it's really easy. There's no mess. There's no cleanup. You don't have to water it. It's just like really easy. And flock trees just really feel like Christmas to me. So I wanted to go flocked route. I love that it comes pre-lit. I'm also going to add my own little lights on it. I really love the mini lights. So I'm going to add those and just really make it light up. Super tall, perfect height for this space. And then... Let's kind of run through everything that I have. I hope you guys like my socks. Little frogs. Okay, here is kind of all of the decor. I did kind of a home decor haul, so I'm gonna just run through this quickly. Just kind of wanna give you guys an idea of the decor that I have and what I'll be using to decorate. I have these little natural trees from Target. We have some big ornaments. These ones I didn't show in my haul, but I actually picked these up from Home Goods. They're really nice quality ornaments. I love the ornaments that Home Goods has. They always just come out with really nice stuff. This I also picked up from Home Goods, just really nice gold, silver, just kind of classy. These are the mini lights that I picked up from Amazon that I'm gonna be wrapping the tree in. We have some more mini lights some more ornaments from Anthro, some Hobby Lobby ornaments. We have some picks, things to really make the tree pop. And then in here, these are the ornaments that I already had. These are some more ornaments that I had from Home Goods from last year. We have some clear ones just to add a little bit of a modern twist, a little modern vibe. So definitely gonna be using those. And then over here, this is just some more stuff that I got from storage. So again, more home goods ornaments. I absolutely love this kind of vibe of ornaments that they always have. So I picked some up, picked up some of those. And then here we have some pine cones just to add a little bit of a natural element. And then this is my little LED winter village. I also picked this up from Amazon. It is humongous. There's so many pieces. It's a bunch of little houses and those bottle brush trees just makes it look really wintry. Okay, so first order of business is the light. Like I said, this tree already came pretty lit, but 
I really like the look of when a tree looks like it is literally like the galaxy like twinkling all over the place so that is why I bought these mini lights from Amazon they are super tiny and what you're basically able to do is give that effect of like almost like a galaxy and these have different settings where it twinkles you can make it like flash you can really play up with it but they're super tiny and you're able to kind of like wrap each branch with a light which is basically what i want to do i really want the tree to be like lit up like right now this looks really good and you could totally leave it like this i personally just am a little bit extra and i want my tree to be like glistening like my highlight so we're gonna add a little bit more light would not be true decorating without a little mess right am i right so this is great i'm just gonna clean this up <laughs> Oh, great job, Tanisha. You're doing amazing. Light rushing in feels so uninvited. Light out from my window pane. Press the top one and see what the lights look like. <laughs> No. Yeah. What? That looks good. Yeah. Definitely still need some zhuzhing. But basically what I did is I tried to like wrap at least a lot of the branches with the light so that it really looks like lit up. But now you kind of have to go in and make sure that the wires are hidden so it doesn't look janky. My love still behind the silence. Nothing left but there's more to say. Now is the fun part, ornaments. So I want to start with these bigger ones, just the really large and in charge oversized ones. I feel like these ones really add a lot of depth to your tree. So kind of want to place these in the holes, like in spaces where I have a little bit of holes. So like right here, just want to make sure that it looks really full. And if you have a tree that's kind of bare in one spot, placing a bigger ornament right there kind of just like solves for that. And then kind of zhuzh up the branch so it kind of like sits around the ornament. Cute. There's a few of these. That one is super shiny. We have this one that is a little bit more of a mat. So probably place it like somewhere right here where there's another hole. So I'm just gonna go in, find the holes, and start like putting in these bigger ornaments. I also have uh, these ornaments. Lots of shades of gold. Also really pretty. Look at these. Just like kind of like a muted, almost like has a tinge of like green. That's really pretty. You could be the death of me. watched my Christmas decor haul you saw me haul these they're little like pick sprays with some pine cones so I'm not really sure if <laughs> no right I feel like it makes it look weird Okay, these are not the vibe. These little things. <laughs> these little ball things. Those are better. Yeah, I like those. I yeah, think those, those are fun, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, it makes it look a little bit more full. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have these little Christmas trees. A Christmas tree on a Christmas tree. What do we think about the Christmas tree on a Christmas tree, guys? <laughs> Are we into it or it's, uh, it's kind of weird? Kind it kind of looks like a gingerbread. Tree I don't know if you can see. I don't know if it goes with the vibe. I think it matches. I just don't know how I feel about a tree on a tree. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's all trial and error here. We're seeing what works. Yeah. All right. So a Christmas tree on a Christmas tree. Not down for that. Um, but we do have the little tea from Anthropology. Ah, adorable. The little tea. That's cute. That is. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. I feel like we need more, like, little, or maybe one more little ornament like that. Yeah. Like a funny one. Uh huh. Cute. Okay. Our last ornament that we have are these mooses. Oh, we have mooses? Yeah. These mooses are from Hobby Lobby, and I honestly don't know. Yeah. <laughs> They're good. Those are some pretty glam mooses, though. They are glam, huh? Yeah. They I think it's a little too glam. It's too sparkly. I think we have enough glam. Mm -hmm. Okay, next plan of attack is doing this shelf. So, obviously we have, like, our bar stuff on here. So, Tyler suggests moving it down one. Because we obviously still want to have, like, we still want this to be functional and be able to, you know, make drinks and stuff. So obviously, this is not the most aesthetic. I do think the Christmas village would look really cute there. This huge village that I got last season from Amazon. Um, if it'll still available, I will link it. It's a whole bunch of little houses, bottle brush tree. So I'm just gonna take this out and see how I kind of want to lay it out. Here is all of the little houses, bigger ones, little chapels, the tea lights, and then different size of the bottle brush trees. I like to decorate in like either twos or threes, bigger one. And then a smaller one. So I'm kind of waiting. Put the little tea lights inside of the house in the back and the little light up. Cold sweat, I was in a nightmare, searching in the dark, but I couldn't find you. There were footsteps coming down the hallway, but when I turned around, it wasn't you. What do you guys think? Just so I did. Bring it closer. Group of three at the end. Three houses, one little tree in the back, one big, two on each side, and then same thing, three, three over here, and then three, one in the back. I wish we had some like fake snow to put. I feel like that would be cute, but for now, I think that looks good. Now we've shifted to my room and we're going to re-tackle the console table. So right now, this is just kind of how I classically have this style, just with some books, candles, photos, and some floral. But I'm gonna incorporate some, obviously, Christmas decor. So I think I want to put this somewhere. So this we're gonna take down. This we're gonna take down. I don't like to like upheave every single thing, but maybe this we can take down. I also have these little deers from Target that I really love. It's just a nice little pop of gold. So I definitely want to put those somewhere. And I think I may leave my books there, just my travel home and vogue book. But I kind of want to, maybe the deer is smelling the candle. <laughs> no, that looks weird. This 
all just like trial and error. You guys like playing around with things and seeing how they look, switching it up, just really seeing what works. So I think I'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit more. What would I do? do, 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 do. What would I do? giveaway time i hope you guys are enjoying the decorate with me so far i wanted to hop in here and let you guys know what the prize is for today one of you guys will be winning this electric lighter i have been obsessed with this thing i think it is a genius invention i will never go back to gas lighters again like this thing is genius you recharge it put it up like that and grab your candle it's literally so easy boom 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 it's lit literally i wanted to share the joy of this with you guys i think you will really love it i've been really into candles this holiday season and this has really helped me just like burn all my candles with ease it's really fun and really sleek so one of you guys will be getting that in addition to the electric lighter i wanted to give one of you guys a candle snuffer and trimmer set so i don't have it here with me because i want you guys to be able to pick what color you want but there's basically a matte black version and then a gold version so depending on which one you want i will ship that over to you with your electric lighter so that is the giveaway prize for today what you have to do to win this prize is again the basic three rules that i always have for every single giveaway in addition to that i want to know down below in the comments what is your christmas theme this year i kind of went for like a glam neutral natural gold silver brown that type of vibe I don't know what that's called but neutral Christmas so that is my theme but I want to know what your guys's theme is for Christmas this year or how are you decorating for the holidays are you keeping it simple let me know down below I want to know what you guys are doing and also don't forget to leave your Instagram handle along with your comments that is the prize for today I hope you guys are excited and get back to the rest of the video okay I think for now this works but I definitely feel like I am missing something structural so I'm gonna look into getting some like pine sprays to put in that clear base and I will definitely give you guys a little update in one of the next vlogmas videos and tell you guys what I end up doing with this that is it for now just very simple minimal a little bit of Christmas but still not you know flipping everything that I had on here on its back and removing everything. You really don't need a lot of decor to still be festive. You can just find a few pieces, incorporate it within your current design and decor and make it look good. All right, so we are basically all done decorating. I wanted to do like a little overview, show you guys the tree, the bookshelf, um, literally one shelf. I still need to work on it and my console table, but just wanted to do a little last reveal so here is the tree i think it looks absolutely beautiful it came out so good i think it's a little bit glam but i don't know i just really like it i think the flock look makes it look so christmasy it gives me all of like the christmas winter vibe i think these little balls turned out really well and all of the ornaments just i feel like really came together this one is so gorgeous it's just really nice um, that one's probably one of my favorites and then I really like these These are also really pretty just like a little bit of glam, but kind of like matte. I really like those I love the big bald ones um, And then I think these there's one more that's my favorite. Oh here it is this one I probably use it every single year it's from home goods but it's so good so here's what the tree looks like looks really good I think adding the extra lights was necessary I think it really just brought the tree to life that's a tree we have our one little shelf of village kind of looks a little bit sad if I'm being honest but I think I am gonna work with it it's only November something like I still have a whole month to really perfect this situation so we're gonna get this right we gotta play up with it a little bit I need a you know I got some work to do so moving to the bedroom we have my console table here again we have a little bit of work to do I really need to play up with some depth some height 
we're gonna get this looking right trust me and I will give you guys updates in the rest of vlogmas I'm sure you're wondering about that little situation don't worry I filmed an entire video showing you exactly how I got this that will be in tomorrow's vlogmas so make sure you guys are subscribed and you stay tuned for tomorrow because I show you how to do that really pretty garland. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and decorating with me for Christmas. Let me know what your guys' home decor style is going to be this year. Are you decorating? Have you decorated yet? What style are you going for? Let me know down below in the comments and I will see you guys tomorrow. Last night, the last memory of our last night is I watched you up.